Okay, today we're going to learn how to do the dermal punctures on each other. Uh, the equipment you'll need is you'll need a lancet. Sorry, you'll need a lancet. You'll need your capillary tubes, alcohol swabs, your two by two gauze, might need some tape, and you also need your gloves. Let's go ahead and put our gloves on. I've already obtained consent from my patient and informed them of the procedure. As you see, I have two lancets out. You want to make sure that you always have backup equipment in case the lancet does not work. Go ahead and withdraw one of your capillary tubes. Place it out. Be careful. You might want to uh, sit it on something that you know where it is because it's glass or it's plastic and it'll blend in with the environment. So try to make a mental note of where it is. Gather one of your alcohol pads. And you'll want to puncture the patient's finger, their t one of their two middle non-dominant fingers. So we'll go with this middle finger and we'll point down using gravity as our friend. We're going to cleanse the fingertip. There's our alcohol swab there. And while the alcohol is drying, be aware that we do not want to stick center or medial in our patient's finger, we want to go lateral on either side. We never stick medial there's, because there's a chance that we could puncture or break some of the bones in the finger. Also the same thing if we're doing a heel stick on a baby. We'll go lateral, not medial. Okay, So uh, the alcohol is dry now. I have my lancet. It's already preloaded. Take off the cap. Squeeze the patient's finger and put up to the finger and push in. You'll hear it click. Means the lancet's punctured the finger. Squeeze. Wipe away the first drop of blood. With your capillary tube, red line facing down, go ahead and collect your sample. You'll try not to touch the capillary tube to the patient's skin and just dab on the bubble of blood. And you'll do this until your tube's full. And allow yourself plenty of time. At this time, it might be best to talk to your patient. It's a slow process. More than likely, we'll be performing these punctures. Uh, for the finger stick, we'll do on children that is past the age of toddlers up until adolescent years. And if it was an infant, we would use the heel. Sometimes we'll do this on geriatric folks. They may be a little bit anemic or their veins cannot handle the vacutainer system. Capillary tubes are heparinized. Okay. All right, and my tube is full. Place this down on my disposable chuck. Patient a piece of gauze and ask your patient to hold that. And this is how you do a dermal puncher. And at this point, depending on your facility, you would go immediately process your capillary tubes or take to your lab. And this is how you do a dermal puncher.